Welcome to this look at mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Okay then, it's been a few days. Um, it is Friday the 6th of August. The mods we're going to be looking at are from Tuesday to today, the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th and the 6th. So almost a week of mods. I'm going to get through them as quickly as I possibly can. As the thumbnail says, more of the same? Or have we got anything new? That's the question. Uh, there were some updates over the course of the week. They are as follows. Let's mix things up a bit. I'm going to try and do this in the order they were released. So from the bottom right, the Bandiranti pack by Farm Centro Sul, the Man 33414-41403 pack by Black Sheep Modding, the event map by Razak Project Mecklenburg 17, the Lizard N219 S by Austri 29 and Slycliffe, the Weed Trimmer by A Dub Modding, Mantrid and ABP team, the Howa BW Grabber Pack by Agra Design Austria Fabian Gogo Bear, Lucas Island by Kaz 64 and Old Aussie Gamer. That one, a uh, massive update. Eight multi fruit crops have been added millet, sorghum, coffee, mustard, rice, and rye. Root crops added carrot and onions, new crop textures but it will need a new save game. So for me, on my Let's Play, that's going to cause massive problems because obviously I've converted the map massively and added new islands and all sorts of things, so I'm not sure if I will be doing the update. La Santerre by AG Modding, the map, has been updated. The New Holland TL Series Pack um, Brazil by Farm Centro Sul. Now it says Schamberg Valley by ER Shabba Farming uh, Farm Agency. I'm assuming that's a PC only update because whilst it's showing on the website on the mod hub it's not showing Schamberg Valley as having had one so whilst it's on the website I, I don't think it's on console those are the updates in front of me then we've got from Tuesday the Brazilian chicken coop this is by team IWMM 1.19 megabytes download 10 slots on console you'll find it under animal pens 6,500 to buy and it will hold 50 chickens Everything nicely labelled, feed goes in there, dialog box just there, we do have a gate, opens to the side. I do like the addition of the little plants, often we get pictures of mods with flowers and trees and things and we don't get them. Uh, egg boxes will spawn there and we've got a little button here, if I press circle, it takes those icons away so if you don't want the icons, if you think they're a little bit cheesy or you know you don't you feel just, you don't need them, you can take them off. There we go. That's the first one. That's Tuesday's The Brazilian Chicken Coop by Team IWMM. Next, we have got this. This is the Massey Ferguson 680 HD. Uh, this is by JA Modding and Bruno Covas, I think it was. 17.36 megabytes download, 32 slots on console. This and the next few are mods from Wednesday the 4th. It's... I mean, it's got a fairly high slot count and a high megabyte download, to be fair. But it's nicely detailed. There's not a huge amount of options on it. I'm not raving about the sound. I'll be, I'll be totally honest. I don't, I don't always say I don't like doing it. I don't like being negative. But under medium tractors, 100 grand for the base model, 180 horsepower. We can change the tyre brand from Michelin to Lizard. Those are the two choices. Under Michelin, we've got tyre one. Sugarcane, which widens it right out. Sugarcane, which changes the tyres on the front to a smaller version. Tyre 2, then back to tyre 1 again. Under Lizard, we've got Rice Tyre. Tyre 3, back to Rice Tyre. Then we've got Front Weight. This is an interesting one. Standard or 10,000 kilograms. I'm not misreading those zeros, aren't I? 10,000 kilograms. The weird thing is it doesn't feel particularly weighty on the front end. So, let's hop in. Fan spinning, horn, lights. I went for the shoe cane one. One thing I will say for it though. Front axle movement. We got this little bump here. Very nice. A lot of axle travel there. I suppose it's designed for steep slopes when you have it like this, I guess. 
first person? Looks like that. I mean, that really, there's not much else to it. That, that's it. That's the mod. That's the Massive Ferguson 680 HD by JA Modding and Bruno Kovas. Moving on, we've got the Big Modern Metal Shed. This is by Vilavisco TV, 3.23 megabytes download, three slots on console. Please open. We do have lighting inside. There is a light switch just over here. Nice large space inside, two doors down the side, one door at the front. You'll find it under placeables and sheds. 100 grand, that's expensive as well, isn't it? 100,000 slot count will come down from three to one. That's by Vilevisco TV. Next, we've got this. This is the Pallet Rack Shop. This is 1.24 megabytes download, three slots on console. It's 5,000 to buy, and you'll find it under placeables and miscellaneous. It's by Land Bauer. This is a buy point, purchase point for seed and for fertilizer. Branded under the Land Bauer brand, as you can see there. Just a slightly different take on the uh, seed and fertilizer buy point. What we'll do. I just have the slots. What's the number? Three, yeah. Let's open the cover. Not too bad price wise. Fertilizer. I'll have to come off of that and come back on again, I don't think. Also, one of those ones that doesn't like it when you. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. And there you have it. Fairly straightforward. Pallet Rack Shop by Landbauer, under placeables, and miscellaneous. Uh, oh yeah, right, next. We have this. This is the Slurry Barrel. This is by Pushcap. It is 9.75 megabytes download, three slots on console. It will cost you 1,000. You'll find it under Slurry um, Equipment. Where are we? Under Tools and Slurry Tanks. It's only 1,000. Requires 30 horsepower. It's a 1,000 litre tank. It's not huge with a 3 metre spread. It's designed for small farms, small fields, very small machinery. We can change the rim colour to anything on that pallet. Main colour is the chassis. Anything on that pallet. Then we'll set up. We've got Lizard 1. 1. Then we've got 1, 2. Then 2, 2. 3, 2. 4, 2. That, I think the actual 2 is the hub. 4, 2, and, and the 4 is the tyre. Then we've got 1, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, sorry, 3, 3, 4, 3, back to 1, 1. What we'll do, hook it up, let's spread, I think I'll put slurry in it. I think it's a slurry and digestate. Let's turn it on. That's a very dinky little bit of kit. I can imagine how it's just done a little, it's nice animation as well. Nice smooth animation. Very tidy that. I love the fact that opens as well when you turn it on. The lever goes absolutely fantastic. So there we go. That's the slurry barrel by push cap. And then the last of the mods for what we're up to Wednesdays, aren't we? Fourth, yeah. Is this one which is the Lizard SO. S041, I think it is, slash 3, gamma 5, bit of a mouthful. It's by Hashtel Mods and Pisa, 12.22 megabytes download, 8 slots on console. It's a planter, 2.7 meters wide, as you can see, holds 240 liters. Opening the cover is done. L1 and left on the D pad, and closing cover. We do have you know, ridge markers. like so, turn it on, drop it down, oh hang on, it's not a direct drill is it, what am I thinking, what am I thinking, so I was trying to get everything sorted out as quick as I possibly could, 
try that again. Drop it down. There we go. So, options on this. Under planters. 4,500 by owning cries, 40 horsepower. As I already said, 2.7 meters wide, and we'll do your regular planting crops. We can change the main color to anything on that palette. Design color is the boxes. We've got a lot of selections of white, and then three of yellow. Then covers, yes or no, on the sides. We've got covers there where the chains are. You can have those on or off if you should choose. So there we go. Very nice indeed. That's the Lizard S041-3 Gamma 5 by Harstel Mods and Pisa. For Thursday. I think I'm on the right ones. I think I'm on Thursdays. Right. This is the placeable New Holland and Same logo. Same logos slash monuments. 0 0.47 megabytes download one slot each. These are by Sevi Modding. You'll find them under placeables and decoration. There are 2,000 each to buy. Could be a little bit more to place, depending on how level your ground is. If you want to put up a monument to either of these two companies. I assume that's done with magnets. I'm not quite sure. Um, and these will light up at night. There's no light switch on them, but they do have lighting on them. There you go. Placeable monuments. you find find them under placeables and decoration by Sevi Modding. Uh, next we've got this. This is the Silo Leveler. This is 0 0.97 megabytes download. One slot on console. This by EY Modding. You'll find it under Tools and Levelers. If we go across there. There you go. 2,900 to buy. Slot count is one anyway. You can change the main colour to anything on that palette. Three-point link attach. So you can put it front or rear, or if you're using an adapter... You can, there's various different bits of machinery you'll be able to put this on. We can raise and lower it automatic L1 and circle, raise and lower the leveler. Or with L1 and right stick, side to side, we can tilt up and down. We can raise and lower it to get a specific height you might be requiring, and then drive it backwards and forwards over your clamp to level your silage, your chaff, your you know, whatever it is you want to be leveling. That's what it's for. And that's what it does. That's the silo leveller. I think I'm getting through this at a good speed. E by EY Modding. Right next, we've got this. This is rather nice. This is the Large Spanish Horse Stable. This is by Rowley Christie 1 VSR Modding Sir. It is 20 slots on console. 14.64 megabytes download. It will hold 16 horses. Some really nice detailing around the edge of this and the fencing and stuff. Very large building. Brickwork on the floors on the inside. Doors open and close. We do have lighting, which was over to the side there. Water trough was here, and here the water trigger is. Runs just along the side here. Dialog box is here in the middle. This end, we have hay and oats for your feed, is where this goes in at this trigger just here. And then if we come out the other end, now interestingly, we've got a... There, yeah, right, I did wonder, you know, about that. That's why I sped up time. If we go down to my horses... There we go, they're producing manure, but it doesn't say they are on that page. They require water, straw, oats and hay. But there is a little clamp here, or bunker, for where the manure is appearing. So they are producing manure, although it's not saying they are. Your bedding, straw bedding, trigger is just here. I don't, I couldn't find a gate around the outside for opening and closing, for taking them f out for exercise. Um, that said, in all honesty, you can jump the fence anyway when you're riding them. I don't think there was one in here either. I did sort of have a look, double check, but I, I couldn't find anything that came up with open or closed gate. But there you go. Not a bad size. I like the fact that it's producing manure as well. That's quite handy. So this you will find under placeables and animal pens. It's only 30 grand. 
Not bad at all, really, for 30 grand, is it? Slot count will come down from 20 to 1. Okay, next we have got... Ah, oh, right, yes. These, the big bale grab by AMG Modding. 3.34 megabytes download. These are four slots each. We've got a fairly standard bale grab here. Very nice indeed. Um, this one is for, obviously, larger stacks of bales with a grab that comes down the top to hold them in place. This can either be for standard bales or larger. It's designed for larger Heston bales, but you can do standard bales with it as well. I've got to remember where I found this now. It was under Telehandler Tools, I think. I looked under Bailey and I looked all over the place. I'm pretty sure it was Telehandler's. There we go. So the, ba the big bale grab with the extra bit on the top is 3,500. These are four slots each. That one goes down to one. The big bale fork standard without the grab on the top um, is 2,000. On both of these, we can change the design colour, which is the Tynes Prongs. So on that palette, main colour does the frame. Then bale type standard or big bales. Now it's not an auto load one. I'm not sure why, whether it makes it bigger or maybe it's the pressure or something. I'm not too sure. But anyway, you have the option to have it standard or for big bales. And that's the same on both of those grabs. And like I say, uh, that one's fairly standard. This one, let's hook up. So on both of these, L1 and X folds those out up at the bottom for transport, so you don't prong anybody by accident. Um, the other one does exactly the same thing. I would suggest having them out to put it down, because as I found with the other one, if you fold those up and drop it, the whole thing falls over. So it's well worth doing. Then R1 and right on my joystick, right joystick, so R1 and right joystick. It's like a huge gaping maw, isn't it? Look at that big fangs now I was worried as well because I thought well there's a lot of pressure in the middle here if we bring that down it's difficult as well because it's a telehander that kind of hooks in lift it up and away we go it seemed pretty good now there's not straps or anything on this but one thing I was going to test though is whether or not if I tip it right up is it going to are the two middle bales going to fall out Ah, oh, right, so there, there is a limit. I know sometimes you have kind of almost like locking scripts and things like that, but um, that's a very tidy bit of kit, that. It's very smooth on the animation as well. It works very well, and obviously that's not going to come down to the bales now because they're, they've fallen over. Well, they didn't fall over. I made them fall over. But that's a nice bit of kit. And, and under pressure when you close it, they don't ping out on their own. You have to really kind of want to knock them over to get them to fall over if that makes any sense that's the big bale grab by amg modding next we have these this is the anaberger hts 22.79 by vbm modding 23.71 megabytes download we have already had an anaberger hts pack which i think was the 29.79 by vbm because i did wonder i thought it was the same pack the only difference between the two packs was this one's got a muck spreader added, whereas the previous one only had a trailer option and a slurry. Um, I think because it's a 2279, it's a bit smaller, I think, with capacities. I could be wrong on that, but anyway, it is a, technically it's a separate mod. So, we've got the chassis itself, the basic chassis. That is 17 slots. We've got the classic liner, is 11 slots. The muck spreader is 19 slots. And the slurry tank is eight slots. So, actually what we'll do, we'll have a look at them in the menu first, I think. Under trailers for first. So the basic chassis, slot count will come down from 17 to 1 on the basic chassis for any subsequent one. Rim colour, we've got a few to choose from there. Main colour. Off of that palette, we've got the option of a trailer board or Michelin, or a trailer board, T421s or T404s, under Michelin, cargo X-bib and cargo X-bib HFs. Then we've got on the back, spoiler normal, it's the rear bar, spoiler folded. 
are the options on the basic chassis. Then the HTS 22.79 Classic Liner Trailer. We can change the main colour. Again, anything on that palette. Capacity 26,000 litres or extended to 33,000. If you have the extended one, that will still take all crops. That doesn't become a silage trailer, forage trailer. That will still do all crops at 33,000 litres. Design standard or with a warning triangle on the back. And then we've got unload mechanics at the moment. It's on rear. So we can have standard or left. So it just switches your unload mechanics. You can have it unloading to the left if you want to. That's the options on the classic liner. Then under manual spreaders, the 2279 Universal Mux Spreader. It says it requires 200 horsepower. Spreads to 18 metres. We can change the main colour again to anything on that palette. Capacity, 17,000 litres or 23,000 litres with the extension. Design standard or warning triangle. Now with this one as well, this will do muck, manure, it will do fertiliser and it will do lime. So it will do all three of those as an option which is rather handy. And then finally, under slurry tanks, we have got the 2279 GFK tank module requiring 140 horsepower. Again, off that menu, that does the chassis section underneath. We've got standard design with warning triangle. Applicator on the back will spread out to 18 meters, or we can have it with a trailer hitch so you can put all of the various different slurry attachments on the back to run them like that. Now this one we've got the option of liquid manure and digestate, water, liquid fertiliser or herbicide. So you could potentially hook fertiliser spreaders and things on the back of that and have an 18,000 litre tank on the front if you wanted to. The water one's an interesting one and we'll talk about that in just a moment. But what we'll do, uh, we'll have a look at these two. The, the trailer one is a fairly standard trailer and it unloads from the side if you go for the side option. Now this does have um, L1 and X unfolds that leg. I can detach and leave it like that. I can fold that leg up and I can still detach, but obviously realistically you would do the leg. I back up under that and then hook up. First thing we need to do on the rear trailer is fold the legs, because at the moment they've got it slightly raised. Fold the legs up, whole thing drops down. Nice, neat and tidy. Let's go out to the field and put a bit of fertiliser down with this. Just curious about the spread width, etc. That looks about 18 metres, isn't it? It doesn't need to be unfolded first, it, it automatically does that. As you can see, it's going down now. But if I just turn it on, that raises up automatically. And away we go. Now the slurry one. Spread slurry does exactly the same thing unless you've got a three point link or a plate on the back. Now I've also gone for a water option. Because I was curious about the water option. Does it just transform into a water tank? Let's say I thought, will it spread water? Will it spread water on the ground? Will that give us some kind of you know really interesting effect? Will it look really cool? Will it give us fertilising? What will it do? In essence, what it does, it just acts as a water tank. So you can just use it as a tanker for feeding your animals and that kind of thing, or where, you know, greenhouses, whatever you need water for. But you need to be wary on this one, because if you turn this on by accident, it will drain. This has got water at the moment. If I turn it on, that now is draining water out. It's not spraying it anywhere, it's just draining it. So if you are going to use it as a water tanker, just be careful that you don't turn the tanker on. Oh, let's put the leg down. There we go. I wonder why it was doing that. So yeah, just, just be warned. <laughs> be wary of that. So yeah, it doesn't spread water out or anything like that. It, unfortunately, it just... Um, I say unfortunately. It's a water tanker if you want it as a water tanker, in your options. Um, so there you go. That's the Annaberger HTS 22.79 by VBM Modding. The last of the mods for yesterday then, Thursday, is the SIP Star, S-I-P Star 722. Yeah, this is by uh, Herbert Radler. I want to get this right. 
Modin Urs, URS, and Gerhard Muller. It is a wind rower. 24.1 megabytes download, 15 slots on console. You'll find it, as you would imagine, under wind rowers. 40 grand, 6.6 .6 meters wide, requires 75 horsepower, we're on 11 miles an hour. We can change the rim color from gray to gray. Fenders, yes or no. Got a little mud flap fenders on the back there if you want them. Weight set balls on the front there if you want to have the weight, the ball things on the end of the three point links if you want them. Then we'll set up 16 or 17 inch tyres if you want those as an option. We will hook up. Just no thought, I'm not sure this tractor's got enough horsepower. Unfold, nice smooth animation. And we'll put the rest of the tines on once it's done and unfolded. There we go. We can turn it on and drop it down. And it will give us our swath out to the right, as you can see. Single swath out to the right. Let's turn that off. If I go into my menu, we have got under R1 toggle work mode. So we've got selected work mode, side swath, night swaths, which is double swath. It extends the whole thing back out again. So I press it again, it closes it back up. Press it again, opens the whole thing out and does double swaths. So we'll turn it on. There we go. So each one, each rotor is given a separate swath rather than one. But it does give you a wider reach. Stop that. Put it back. I think it only does a right swath it doesn't do a left or a right it's either double or right swath I think that's pretty much it there you go that's the SIP star 722 by Herbert Radler uh, modding URS URS I think it's Urs and Gerhard Muller. So, that's the mods for yesterday. Mods for today then. Oh, again, I don't, I don't like doing this, but I'm, I'm, I won't say anything. <laughs> See what you think for yourself. Anyway, right. So, first up for mods for today then. We've got the old Polish barn. This is by eight ten mods. 2.8 megabytes download, one slot on console. It's very red. Fairly basic in its texturing and not necessarily design. You can see what I mean? I mean, it's not, you know, inside's fairly the same. It's fairly flat, I guess is the best way of putting it. The lighting, I think, is automatic. I can't find a light switch. So I think the lighting's automatic. I'm just going to check on the website to the side of me. Automatic lights that come on at night doesn't say if it's seasons ready or not um, and you'll find this under placeables and sheds 2500 to buy slot counts on one anyway there we go so that's the old Polish barn by 810 mods next up we've got these this is the street lights on wooden poles by JZD Viverki we have two of these they're under placeables and decoration I really do like the um, sort of wood texturing and look on those. It looks like knotted wood. They look like proper telegraph poles, you know, um, with the concrete bit on the bottom of that one. So I say there are two single standing pole, which has got the, the warning sign on it as well, or the one with the triangular support pole on it. These are also automatic. They will come on when it gets dark. As I said, you'll find them placeable for some decoration. Did I put down how much they were? Oh, yeah, they're 400 each. We don't need to have a look. There's only two of them. 400 each. Under placeables and decoration. That's the street lights on wooden poles by J Z D Viverki. Next, we have got the uh, pack small shelters. This is 4.94 megabytes. I say sorry, street lights. 1.17 megabytes download. The pack small shelter. 4.94 megabytes download. This is by Matthias Mods. 
we have got four in this pack so we've got small shed small double shed then we've got small or solar panel shed and a double solar panel shed now the two that don't have solar panels don't have lighting prices for these these are under placeables and sheds 25 grand for the single 35 grand for the double again nice like a new build you can look at the woods very clean tidy neat then it's 45 grand for the small one with solar panels on the roof but because it's got solar panels on the roof it then has its own lighting but also it provides you with income now the income on the website is different to what it's actually telling me in game the website says for the small one 160 on easy 100 on normal 40 on hard I'm on normal economy and that's telling me I'm getting 110 which has got me slightly baffled uh, then the double is 55 grand to buy also has lighting at the front here that one says on the website 200 on easy 100 on normal and 80 on hard that's telling me it's paying 160 per hour so I'm not sure it's a bit odd uh, these were under were under sheds I'm sure they're under sheds so there you go small shed small shed double 25 grand 35 grand yeah 110 per hour and 160 per hour I'm um, on normal economy 45 45 grand and 55 grand so pack small shelter by Matyash mods very nice indeed uh, next right we've got the concrete brick fence pack this is by edek it is 5.09 megabytes download each section on these are three slots nice sort of thick chunky construction so lining these up will prove a little bit easier than some we've had brick sections at the bottom and a kind of concrete molded concrete textured section above we have a single section a double section a triple section and then the gate There we go. These you'll find under. Oh, I've forgotten now. I'm sure these were. These are either decoration or mis miscellaneous. Hang on. Under miscellaneous, place of alls and miscellaneous. So the concrete brick fence 20, the double is 40, the triple is 60, and the wooden gate section is 200. There we go. Which brings me on to the last of the mods for today and the last of the mods for this week. This had me very excited. Only to be dashed. This is the irrigation set by Mutlu Modding. 0 0.41 megabytes download. There's a pipe and a fountain. Now, interestingly, the website pictures don't show any of these connected. And it does say... Irrigation set is to be used for decoration in the game. It's not a usable irrigation system in any way. So I thought, well, in all honesty then, if it's a fountain section and you get the pipe sections, if you can connect them together, like when you place them, as long as you can line them up, then you can do what I've done here. Give yourself a water source and you can kind of simulate the pipe running from the water source to your fountain and away you go. No, unfortunately, these wouldn't link together when you place them they kind of drop that one just rolled away they don't kind of and weirdly as well you can't pick them up I've, I've tried. so it's not like you can once you've placed them pick them up and move them into position to simulate a pipe of any description I'm kind of baffled as to the point of it like so if you can't move them I know it says for decoration but what for um yeah I, I'm I am baffled these were placeables and miscellaneous so the pipe is 50 fountain is 25 I'll show you what I mean if I place the fountain section there it places upright to start off with uh, if I get a pipe because I thought oh, that'd be cool you know just swing around try and get the right end to kind of hook up if we can match them up together and then when you kind of line it up 
it, it won't sit flat. And they do kind of move around as well. It's I don't know. I mean, maybe you can with a bit of careful placement make it look like a pipeline if you wanted to. But then the irrigation system, like I say, the fact it doesn't work, it, it's kind of becomes a bit moot really. Um, I did also bring over an animal water trailer, thinking, well, okay, if that's if all of that is the case, I can just use that as a as a standalone fountain then, because it says fountain, I can get water from it. It wouldn't let me refill from it either. So, yeah, there you go. So, that's it for the mods this week. I hope you found this useful, informative in some way, shape, or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. One, have a lovely weekend. Whatever you end up doing with your time. And two, thanks for watching.